Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning. So, okay, ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest player to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the beautiful area of Cappadocia in Turkey, and we have woken up before sunrise because we are going to see a beautiful, amazing spectacle this morning. And I'm still a little bit sick, my nose is blocked up. <laughs> but anyway, we've woken up at 5 a.m. so that we can get to a really nice spot and see a whole bunch of balloons taking off for sunrise. How did you sleep? I don't know. I think I slept all right, actually. Yeah, it was really comfortable until the alarm went off. <laughs> definitely a little bit too early apparently in like 15 minutes as soon as they all take off it's kind of all over and then we can just go back to bed <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty busy in town this morning look at all these tourist trucks about yeah it's a good sign that there will be balloons this morning yeah because apparently if there's high winds everything gets cancelled and everybody wakes up for no reason <laughs> so we really don't want that but yeah looks like everybody's out and about so I think it's gonna happen so I think the sun rises at 6 30 we set our alarm for five o'clock and now it's 5.40 actually. So it's not too bad. It's a normal working day, hey? Just another day at the office. Okay, so this is the area that we came to yesterday where we came into town. And we're gonna head to the same area because we reckon that's where all the balloons are gonna fly from. That's also where this tourist truck is headed. So it's gotta be the right way. Oh yeah, look. They're already oh. starting to inflate the balloons. Yes. Cool. Nice, look at that. They're all here. Just take it nice and easy. There's a little bit of sand on the on the road. But it's not too bad. Look, there's balloons here, there's balloons here. Wow, there's balloons everywhere. So it's definitely happening this morning. Wow, this is so different to when we came here yesterday, hey? Yeah. Whoa, this is crazy. Yeah, everything is happening now. Okay. Hey, that's not a bad place to be, is it? Let the balloons fly. So at the moment, they're just pumping air actually in the balloons and they're getting bigger and bigger. So cool. Oh, look at this. That's insane. What a crazy scene. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy! Wow! There's so many of them! It's so big! Whoa! Here we go! Whoa! It's going up right, it's going up right. It's going, it's going. It's going. Yes. Wow. Bye-bye! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Whoa, they're really all starting to launch up in the air now. Everywhere, all around us. This place is so incredible. 
there are so many and you can see people doing photo shoots over there like a girl with a really nice dress oh, amazing what a place what a place what a place wow look there what a scene hey what a scene incredible there's so many balloons here so many <laughs> wow that's really insane good job very good wow Incredible. Thank you so much. No, oh, these guys just brought us tea. That's lovely. Thank you so much. So nice. One thing here in Turkey is for sure that you can drink as much tea as you want. Hey guys. Yay! High five! Yeah. High five! Yeah. <laughs> this is the reason why I love traveling. I love it so much it's not everywhere in the world you can see this the turkish people they just created something really 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 incredible here it's like the best idea ever i would love to work here you know i want to work here i want to see this every day it's like a dreamland I don't know what's happened over there but there seems to be a lot of smoke coming from this area I really hope that it's not a balloon what what is that? That? all right it's time to head back to the campsite because I am hungry it's time for breakfast and coffee so first I've just got to get down this hill without lavi so I'm just gonna basically just try and ride a sort of line down here <laughs> nice. I think I hit the bash plate on a rock. There's nothing new dripping, is there? Yeah, looking all right. <laughs> okay. <sighs> nice. And look, these guys are landing here as well. Wow. <laughs> Amazing! That is so magical to be just riding right next to a hot air balloon or next to a million hot air balloons. Oh, they had a coffee van here the whole time! <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go slow here. Yeah. Back yeah. on tarmac! Yes, yes, yes! Wow, look at this scene, guys! Look at it! Ah, oh, I can't get over this vista here, really, I can't get over it. I think we should move to Cappadocia. Yeah, I wonder how many times you would have to see this before it would get boring. Never! So what was this building that was on fire? I don't know, I don't know. But I think there were definitely some balloons with some issues that they couldn't fly too much. Oh, I can see the fire people just there. Oh, okay. Must have been there. Yeah. But yeah, wow, look! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was definitely waking up at 5 a.m. for, that was. <laughs> that was a magical experience. Oh, for this I want wake up at 2 a.m. <laughs> 2, oh, I don't know about 2. 2 a.m.? Look at these guys, they're just hovering. Just <laughs> hovering over the town. So now we are actually going to check out the panorama view from our campsite and see if we can still see something, some balloons up in the air. This guy's going on a run this morning. There you go. What? Watch the balloons at sunrise <laughs> go for a 5k run. <laughs> yeah. I thought that's what we were going to do. <laughs> no? No, I'm going to go sit down for the rest of the day, have a coffee. <laughs> can see loads of cave houses here. 
In fact, nearly every single rock in this whole area is a cave house. Let me open the gate for you. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's have some breakfast and a coffee then, eh? Yeah. We are. Everything gone from the camp, yep. Looks good. Leave no trace, guys. Take only photographs, leave only footprints. It's not really a catchy song. Thank you, my love. Hello. Good boy. Good, you're a good doggy. Hello, hello. Bye bye. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, as beautiful as this valley is, it is time to leave. Oh. Yeah, I know. But hey, we saw exactly what we came here to see. Totally. Totally successful. Yes. We were there with all the balloons around us. Yeah. And that's the important thing. We came here, we saw it, we got the t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to move on. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we're going to be following the 300 to the city of Konya and then the 330 followed by the 687 towards the coast and on to the city of Antalya. So if all goes well today, it's going to be our last ride of this leg before we take a break in Antalya to do some editing and also we're going to be giving Bumblebee a service we're going to be maybe changing the tires we're going to have to see the tread when we get there going to be looking at this front right fork seal because it is leaking a little bit so maybe changing that out changing the oil preparing Bumblebee for the last 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 leg of this journey oh my god yeah pretty much from Antalya, the last service, that should take us all the way home. I think that'll be it. We can just ride, ride, ride all the way back to England. Incredible. And I'm really impressed as well because if we make it today to Antalya, we are actually one day earlier than expected. Whoa, look at us. <laughs> Ahead of schedule. Yes. So we just stopped at a petrol station just outside of Cappadocia and we saw this little thing and we decided to buy it. Look, it's a little balloon. How cool is that? Yeah, we thought, you know, we're nearly home. Now we can just buy all the trinkets we want. <laughs> Start getting a lot of souvenirs. How cute! So we have to basically just, just hang it from somewhere. Hopefully it lasts. <laughs> It's lunchtime, so we just stopped on the side of the road here. This little place looks like it's got kebabs and lentil soups and all of the Turkish goodies. Yes. Yes. Chicken soup. Chicken. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Two. One chicken kebab. Yes. All right. Oh, let me see. Whoa. This looks like baklava covered in chocolate. Whoa, look at that. Perfect, thank you. We just ordered two lentil soup and one chicken kebab and they're just bringing out things, you know, like salads and more salads and sauces and bread. Look how full the table is. So no matter what you order in a Turkish restaurant, you'll always be completely stuffed because they give you like a whole tub of bread, look. All you can eat. Baklava? Soup, yeah? Okay. Ice baklava. Okay, like cold. Milk. Milk. Yes. Okay. We try. Two. Whoa. Thank you. I ordered two, but we got like two portions of four. <laughs> Whoa. They said it's like milk baklava, so let's give it a go. Mm. I think there's cacao on top. Yeah, it's like Baklava 2.0. Mm -hmm. wow. So it's 
3.30 now and we have done actually quite good we have done nearly 200 miles but we have still 109 miles to go so actually google still estimates it will take us another two hours and 50 minutes yeah but to give ourselves motivation we have already booked our accommodation in antalya yes basically to force ourselves to get there today <laughs> exactly oh wow look at this ahead that looks nice but yeah otherwise it's a lot of straight road a lot of farmland right and left like i wouldn't say it's the most spectacular ride today but it does look like on the map that it might get a bit more mountainous like at the very end just before we hit the coast so i'm kind of hoping that we get like a last really nice spectacular part but we'll see anyway for now we're just making some distance cruising along and ollie has to rest tomorrow the whole day just in bed hey yeah absolutely then you get better soon no i can't believe like on our around the world tour how often we got sick like literally at first every continent as soon as we reached another continent we got sick and then often as well when we change countries hey yeah every now and again it just comes back yeah. i shake hands with a, somebody and then suddenly i'm sick again yeah <laughs> But anyway, that's why we're going to be resting up in Antalya. We've booked our accommodation for the next five nights. Yeah. So that's really good. Should give us a chance to do some editing and to really just rest, recover. And also get Bumblebee serviced. A recovery for us and a recovery for Bumblebee as well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yes, this is what I'm talking about. We've reached some mountains. So these are the Taurus Mountains. We're going to be crossing these to reach the south coast. So this should be a pretty cool part of the ride. Hey guys, Editing Ollie here. Whilst we cruise our way through these spectacular mountains, I wanted to tell you guys about this video sponsor, On Vacation Doctor, and their super handy app for people traveling the world like us. The On Vacation Doctor app connects you to top English-speaking doctors in any country in the entire world, including here in Turkey. They even have 140 doctors listed in Antalya alone. Just put in your location and this app provides provides you with the name, location and phone number of the closest English speaking doctor to you. It also provides local ambulance, fire and police numbers as well as the local US embassy address and phone number. But the awesome thing about this app is that it's absolutely free to use for the first six months and then only $4.99 for the next six months. So super helpful and super affordable. Show your support for our sponsor by downloading the app for free today by clicking the link in the description below. Now back to the video. Oh, thank you very much. Beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> nice. So we're just on our last break now. We have an hour and a half more to go. I have back pain. And I have everything pain. <laughs> and I'm just eating some cookies. And I got the leftover salad from our lunch. Can't go wrong with that. There's such beautiful mountains around here though, this last bit. Yeah, take a look at this. Oh, nearly fell over. Just beautiful pine forests, rocky mountains. It's like it's a really nice set of mountains. And I am absolutely shattered. Absolutely shattered. Shattered. <laughs> I can't do it. And I'm absolutely shattered. Absolutely William Shattered. <laughs> Guys, we could see already the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, we're just winding our way down the other side of the mountains and we could just catch a glimpse of it all the way down there. Woo! We're going to Antalya. <laughs> and the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> nice! What a ride! The mountains of Turkey.
So we have reached the outskirts of Antalya, finally. It's currently quarter past six and the sun's getting super low in the sky. And it's busy. Yeah, there's so much traffic going into Antalya. So much traffic. Yeah, we are not the only ones who want a beach holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's super hot here. 31 degrees down by the coast here. And it's humid. Yeah, we felt it when we came down from the mountains. Suddenly it was like, whoa. Oh, it's been a long day, 309 miles on the road. Crazy stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, we woke up at 5 a.m. Yeah. That's 13 hours ago. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, D to the E to the D, hey? Yeah, exactly. D to the A to the D. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad. Anyway, we're battling our way through the traffic. Yeah, and doing this ride in one day means that we get an extra day off. So tomorrow we're having a nice proper day off. So it'll be worth it once we get to the hotel. Anyway, we've just got 6.3 miles of traffic to battle through and then we're there. Wow, I think we are really, really like in the city center. Yeah, we are literally <laughs> in the center of Antalya now. Oh, no. We must have booked our hotel like right in the middle. Oh man, why do we do these things, eh? This last couple of miles has been tough going and hot. Yeah, but maybe we can eat a lent lentil soup here. Where? Just here on the corner. Oh, I'm sold. <laughs> We are so close now. Yeah, but it really took forever. Absolutely forever. Yeah, this last bit was ridiculous. <laughs> oh my Lord. <sighs> it's now exactly sunset. So that means we've pretty much been out and about on Bumblebee from sunrise to sunset. <laughs> the whole day. Crazy stuff, <laughs> crazy stuff. Okay, we're down to feet now. It's telling us feet. 328 feet, surprisingly accurate. Okay. Nest, nest. Nest, 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 nest. nest, nest. Ah, here. Okay. okay. Uh, looks like we made it. We made it! Happy the life! And exhausted! Oh man, that was a really, really long ride. Before sunrise until after sunset. I think that's probably one of the first times we've ever done that. But wow, it was totally worth it. It was one of my favorite days by far. It was just so incredible to see all the air balloons rising up in the morning. Like, oh my God. Yeah, that was one of the most magical experiences. I'm so happy that we have like a super nice room here actually. It's nice and quite big as well. So we can have a really nice rest here for a few days, get a lot of editing work done and also so bring Bumblebee to a garage. Bit of TLC for Bumblebee and me and Lavi. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time. Yeah! Nice! <laughs>